Hello, Jessica Frost Ballas here with a video for Lawn Fawn. Today I'm sharing a fun, cheery summer scene featuring the new pool party set with some older standalone dies. So let's get started. First, I stamp a few images from Pool Party onto white cardstock with Versafine and heat emboss them with clear embossing powder. Off camera, I also stamp a sentiment from the same set onto black cardstock and heat emboss it with white embossing powder before trimming it down to a thin label. Next, I color the images with Copic markers. I'm using toner grays for my unicorn and a rainbow of colors for his mane and tail. I'm using three shades for each color and I start with the darkest color first and then blend out to the lightest. I use the same process with three markers for each color of my rainbow inner tube. I keep my darkest shades on the inside and outside of the inner tube and use my lightest shade in the middle to give the tube a little dimension. Once I'm done coloring, I die cut all the images with the coordinating dies. Off camera, I also stamp the speech bubble and a happy birthday sentiment from the same set and die cut it with the coordinating die. Next, I die cut two waves from the stitched wave borders, the island with palm trees from palm tree borders, and the sun from spring showers using Distress Heavy Stock cardstock to create my background. First, I blend Squeeze Lemonade and Mustard Seed Distress Oxide ink onto a square of paper for my sun. I let the ink dry before die cutting my sun. Then I blend Salvage Patina, Peacock Feathers, and Salty Ocean Distress Oxide ink onto my smaller wave and Peacock Feathers, Salty Ocean, and Blueprint Sketch Distress Oxide Ink on my larger wave. I end up mostly covering up the Peacock Feathers on the larger wave and made it more blue instead of aqua. I use antique linen and tea dye distress oxide ink for my sandy island. I also blend up the palm tree trunks to give them a little color. Next, I blend my sky on an A2 panel. I use Salty Ocean and Tumbled Glass Distress Oxide Ink. I start with my blending tools, but the pads are a little old and left a bit of a scratchy pattern on my paper, so I go back in with blending brushes to smooth it all out. Then I splatter the waves and island with water, blot off the excess and set them aside to dry completely. Once they were dry, I used the chisel tip of a few Copic markers to add a little shading to the palm tree trunks. My oxide ink was dry, but the oxides can leave a bit of a residue on the markers, so I don't like to use the brush nib over the oxides.
Then I color the palm tree leaves with three green Copic markers and use liquid glue to adhere them to the tree trunks. Now it's time to assemble my card. I adhere all the layers together with ATG adhesive and then adhere them to a top folding card base. I use foam mounting tape to adhere the inner tube, speech bubble, and sentiment labels for a little extra dimension. Finally, off camera, I add a little glitter pen to the inner tube and a few white gel pen accents. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did, I'd love for you to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe to the Lawn Fawn channel for even more crafty inspiration. Thanks so much for watching and until next time, have a fantastic day and happy crafting. Bye!